I was in Sec 1, my ALP program was all about aviation. I learned the basic knowledge of physics in aviation and also parts of an airplane. In secondary 2, we did coding through our software and did a lot of programming. The highlight of my applied learning program was to make an air block. My first exposure was through the air block actually. Before ALP, I was never interested in drones before. Flying the air block is one of my most favourite experiences during ALP. My favourite was the paper rocket experiment. We had to experiment on how the size, shape and weight will affect the paper rocket distance launch. We had to relook at the process. We had to reflect on how to improve our flight. The hands-on project with the microbeat was special. Have a three-tiered approach to organise our ARP. At the first tier, our target audience is the SEC 1 and SEC 2 students. One of the distinctive features of our ALP program is that every student, right, regardless of stream, will have an opportunity to fly a drone. And not just fly a drone, but also to program a drone too, as we hope to introduce computational thinking to our students. In addition, students who are passionate about flying will have an opportunity to design and build a radio control aero model under the mentorship of their seniors. Thereafter, they will learn to fly the radio control aero model and showcase their talent at the school's open house and at various outreach talks to primary schools. During STEM lessons, our SEC1 students will learn about the four forces of flight and engage in various hands-on design challenges by designing and building a balloon-powered car. In SEC2, our students will be exposed to elements of computational thinking through playing Potato Pirates. So this is what Potato Pirates is. It's a card game that introduces them to programming concepts like loops and conditionals. SEC2 students will not only have an opportunity to fly a drone, but also to program the drone to accomplish simple tasks. In the coming year, we hope to get our students to program line tracing robots to help them appreciate the concept behind autonomous vehicles. I made my error model of fire flying using materials such as styrofoam, carbon, and various workshop tools. I'm mostly proud of my Firefly as I added my own adaptations to make it slightly more efficient. I also spent hours of effort into building my plane. During Field Growth Open House last year, I flew my Firefly for about 4 hours within the school compound. I was very excited and thrilled when I saw my Firefly flying in the sky. I like that ALP projects are usually based in groups, so I had my fun interacting with other classmates and this helped me boost my self-confidence and social skills. Fly and Aerospace has inspired me to explore beyond the classroom. Instead of listening to our teachers in the classroom and imagining how the abstract physics concepts look like, we can now see physics in action. ALP has equipped me with IT and programming skills. I can now fly and control aero models. Only because of Hillgrove's flight and aerospace niche, we have the Youth Flying Club CCA. We have a family where all of us are bound together by our love for airplanes. Drone flying is definitely not just a guy activity. Hillgrove is a place where we learn, have fun, and explore with curiosity. If not for FNA, I might have not been able to make my own error model and let it soar to the sky. Flight and aerospace has definitely helped me to pursue my interest in the aviation industry. As we learn what it's like in the aviation sector and the aeronautics sector and see the basics of how things work. And hence, I might want to pursue this career path in the future.